Big Hero 6 is an American computer animated superhero film released in the year 2014. The plot of the film follows a young robotics genius, Hiro Hamada, who wants to avenge the death of his elder brother, Tadashi. He joins hands with Tadashi's robot, Baymax, and his friends to form a band of six high-tech heroes to take down the villain. The film starts in the futuristic city of San Francisco, where Yama is seen winning a robot combat. As he flaunts his win proudly, a 14-year-old boy, Hiro Hamada, proposes to gamble in the robot combat using his self-made mini-robot against Yama's gigantic one. As soon as the fight starts, Hiro's robot loses within seconds. Hiro demands a second round, and this time his mini-robot does wonders and knocks out Yama's robot abruptly. Yama is unable to handle his loss and sends his goons after Hiro. But before they could hurt Hiro, his elder brother, Tadashi Hamada, arrives at the rescue on his bike. They flee from there, and Tadashi berates Hiro for gambling in robot fights, as bot fighting is illegal. Hiro is a very special boy, as he graduated high school when he was only 13 years old. He is a robotics genius, and can't help himself from gambling in robot fights. At last, what Tadashi dreaded the most happens, and Hiro is arrested. He is bailed out of jail by his aunt Cass, who has been raising Tadashi and Hiro for 10 years ever since their parents died. At home, Tadashi senses that Hiro has still not learned the lesson even after getting arrested, and is planning to go to a bot fight again. So, he asks Hiro to tag along with him, and instead takes him to the research lab at his university, called Ito Ishioka Robotics Lab. As soon as Hiro steps foot into Tadashi's lab, which Hiro calls the Nerd Lab, he is amazed to see the marvelous creations. Tadashi introduces Hiro to his friends, Gogo, Wasabi, Honey Lemon, and Fred, who show Hiro their inventions. After that, Tadashi takes Hiro to his lab space to show him his creation, Baymax, which is an inflatable healthcare robot that is alerted to any medical attention. It senses Hiro's voice when Tadashi waxes his forearm and comes to the rescue to treat it. After knowing that Tadashi programs Baymax with over 10,000 medical procedures, Hiro is highly impressed with him. Tadashi shows Hiro the clip with which Baymax is activated. Hiro then takes a firm look at the robot, and both the brothers discuss the parts used in the robot making. Just then, Tadashi's mentor, Professor Robert Callahan, walks in, who is the head of the university's robotics program. Hiro is starstruck after finding out that the master of the robotics, Robert Callahan, teaches at the university. He quickly decides to apply to the San Francisco Institute of Technology and follow in his brother's footsteps. Tadashi tells Hiro that, every year, the school has a student showcase in which if he comes up with something that blows Robert away, he will get in. Hiro starts working his way through and spends day and night coming up with a creation of his own. At the school showcase, he nervously shows his mind-blowing creation called the Microbots. The Microbots link up together in any arrangement and are controlled by a neurotransmitter. It can be used to serve multiple purposes. Everyone is blown away by Hiro's revolutionary idea of robotics. The CEO of Kraytech immediately asks Hiro to sell his creation to him, but Robert intervenes and stops Hiro from making a deal. Robert then hands Hiro his admission letter to the school. Hiro's friends and family jump with excitement and decide to celebrate Hiro's admission. But before they can do so, a fire breaks out in the school, and Tadashi finds out that his professor, Robert, is still in there. Despite Hiro's reluctance, Tadashi rushes into the building to save his professor, but an explosion takes place, intensifying the fire even more. As a result, Tadashi and Robert are killed. The entire university and Hiro's friends and family mourn over their losses. A few weeks later, Hiro is seen mourning his dead brother and hasn't started school yet. His aunt tries to cheer him up and motivates him to register for school, but Hiro pays no heed to it. He even receives a video message from Tadashi's friends to check on him. Depressed and unmotivated, Hiro dumps his admission letter, and just then his robot falls to his toe. As a result, he unintentionally activates Baymax. When Baymax tries to help Hiro with his emergency aid, Hiro is annoyed and wants Baymax to shut up. 
However, during the process, Hero comes across his only remaining piece of microbot that tries to link up to something. Hero thinks that there might be a glitch with this, as all the pieces of the microbot were destroyed in the fire. But seeing Hero's mood swings, Baymax takes it upon itself to find where the microbot is trying to go. Seeing Baymax cross the road on its own, Hero chases Baymax, and they reach an abandoned warehouse. Both of them sneak into the warehouse, only to discover that someone has been manufacturing the microbots in a huge quantity. All of a sudden, the microbot swarms attack Hero and Baymax, and it turns out that there is a man in a kabuki mask who is behind all of this. With great difficulty, Hero manages to run away from there along with Baymax. He then heads straight to a police station to file a complaint against the masked man, but the officer does not believe him and suggests calling his parents. So Hero leaves from there with Baymax. As he reaches home, he sneaks Baymax into his room, secretly, to keep him from spilling the beans to Aunt Cass. Baymax keeps talking about Hiro and Tadashi, and is unable to understand that Tadashi is dead. When Hiro talks to Baymax about personal loss, Baymax downloads a database from the computer on personal loss, and as treatment contacts Hiro's friends, and also shows him compassion. Suddenly, Hiro has an epiphany that the Kabuki man must have stolen his microbot from the showcase and then set the place on fire to cover his tracks. He is determined to apprehend the masked man and avenge Tadashi's death. So, he designs an armor suit for Baymax and a battleship containing karate moves to make Baymax stronger. After inserting the battleship in Baymax, Hiro tests all his karate moves and is happy to see Baymax upgraded. The duo then heads out to track the masked man, and ends up at the dock. Before the masked man could take down Hiro, Tadashi's friends arrive, responding to a call from Baymax. The masked man comes at them, but the group flees away in time with Baymax's help. On their way in Wasabi's minivan, Hiro explains to them the entire situation of the masked man and, after a long, nerve-wracking chase, they crash into the water. Baymax quickly gets rid of his armor suit, and the group reaches the water surface on Baymax's inflatable body. Fred then takes the group to his mansion, where he comes up with a theory that Cray must be the man behind the mask. But the group is unsure whether or not to believe in this theory. Just then, Baymax informs Hero that he scanned the masked man and has his medical record. Hero is ecstatic to know this information, and teams up with the group to bring the masked man down. He works with each group member to strengthen their own creation, and in the end, comes up with a team of weaponized high-tech members. He even upgrades Baymax, and makes it Baymax 2.0, which has power pack potential for taking down the masked man. Hiro introduces Baymax 2.0 to the group, and they are awestruck to see his amazing upgrades. When Hiro shows Baymax's rocket flying ability, Baymax takes it too seriously, and takes Hiro on a roller coaster journey. Finally, they land on the top of a scaffold from where Baymax scans for the person with the same medical record as the masked man. He points out to an island where he found a match. So, Hiro along with the group flies with Baymax to the island. The group of six superheroes enters the abandoned laboratory on the island with the same sign as seen on the masked man. Hiro comes across the footage of surveillance cameras and finds out that it is an old tech laboratory of Cray. The group sees the footage of the teleportation experiment that Cray was conducting. Despite the glitch in the experiment, Cray authorizes it, and as a result, a test pilot disappears in a portal during the first test. Later, the government shuts down Cray's teleportation research experiment. Unbeknownst to the group, the masked man attacks from behind. Baymax and the group try to fight him. At last, Hero manages to knock off his mask, and is shocked to see Professor Robert Callahan behind it, who everyone thought was dead all along. Robert explains that during the fire in the university, he used the microbots to protect himself from the explosion. Seeing Robert alive, Hiro realizes that his brother died for no reason. Robert calls it Tadashi's foolishness for risking his own life. This infuriates Hiro, and he orders Baymax to kill Robert. Being a healthcare robot, Baymax refuses to kill him, so Hiro removes Baymax's healthcare chip. The group stops him from doing so, as Tadashi never wanted to use Baymax for the wrong reasons, but Hiro is boiling mad and can't control his anger. Baymax starts attacking Robert, and the group keeps stopping him, but to no avail. 
At last, Honey Lemon finds the healthcare chip on the floor and inserts it into Baymax. Finally, Baymax is stopped, and Robert manages to run away. Hero is enraged at the group for letting Robert escape and asks Baymax to find Robert. But since Baymax's enhanced sensor is damaged, he takes Baymax home to repair it. After that, he attempts to remove the healthcare chip again, but Baymax blocks his entry to his access port. He explains to Hiro that Tadashi never envisioned using Baymax for vengeful reasons. Hiro cries in grief that Tadashi is gone. Just then, Baymax plays a video of Tadashi performing multiple tests during Baymax's development. It shows Tadashi's will and determination of helping others by creating a healthcare companion called Baymax. Hiro tears up seeing his brother's compassion and instantly regrets the aggression that he showed. He apologizes to Baymax for what he did. Just then, his friends walk in and assure him that they will not stop until they find Robert. They hand in Hiro a flash drive that they found in the laboratory. Hiro plays the video on the flash drive that happens to be in the video footage from the lab accident, only to discover that the pilot had disappeared in Cray's experiment was Robert's daughter, Abigail Callahan. This means that Robert is trying to avenge Cray for the loss of his daughter. In the next scene, Cray is showing launching his new campus of Cray Tech Industries. While he is giving an opening speech, Robert attacks him and starts to destroy his campus by making a teleportation portal with the help of the microbots. Hero and his friends arrive to stop Robert, but he instead starts combating them. Baymax sees that Hero is about to go into the teleportation portal and uses his flying rocket to save him. Hero improvises and comes up with a new plan to take out the microbots so that they can be sucked up into the portal. He gets onto Baymax and lures the microbots to the transportation portal, sending most of them inside. The rest of the high-tech heroes use their special powers to take out the microbots. Finally, almost all microbots are taken out, and Robert is unable to use his power. Baymax grabs his mask that has the neurotransmitter and destroys it immediately. At last, the teleportation portal that was held up by the microbots also falls, destroying the entire campus. However, the portal remains active and unstable. Hiro asks everyone to leave before the portal engulfs them, but Baymax detects signs of life coming from the portal. According to Baymax, there is a female inside that is in a state of hypersleep. Hiro realizes that it must be Abigail and decides to rescue her. Despite Cray's warning that the portal is destabilizing, Hiro jumps into the portal with Baymax to save Abigail. Inside the portal, Baymax senses Abigail. After finding her, they head back to the portal, but before they could cross it, Baymax is hit by a large piece of debris that disables his thrusters. Having no other option, Baymax offers to use his rocket fist to propel them out of the portal and asks Hero to deactivate him. Hero refuses as he cannot bear losing Baymax and hugs him tightly. But Baymax convinces him and Hero unwillingly agrees to deactivate him. Baymax uses his rocket fist and fires Hero and Abigail, pushing them across the portal before it is destroyed. Hero's group is in despair, seeing Hero alone with Abigail. Abigail is rushed to the hospital, and Robert is arrested for his crimes. However, he is relieved to see his daughter alive. Hero starts going to the university with his friends and is having a great time. Hero misses Baymax, so one day he opens up a box that has Baymax's rocket fist, only to discover Baymax's healthcare chip in it. He decides to recreate Baymax, and is overjoyed to meet his superhero again. Since Tadashi wanted to help people, Hiro, Baymax, and his friends decide to protect the city and become a superhero group known as the Big Hero Six. The film ends with Fred talking to his father's portrait in his mansion. He is complaining that his father is always on his island, away from him, due to which he is unable to share his accomplishments with him. As he touches the portrait, he unintentionally opens a secret door, only to discover a room full of superhero clothing and equipment. All of a sudden, his father arrives from behind, and Fred is elated to see him. He hugs Fred, and says that there is a lot they have to talk about. That's the end of the movie. The budget of this movie was around $165 million, and at the box office, it earned $657.9 million. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more future videos.